Cancer. This is EJ from Tarot to Tarot. I hope everybody is having a good end to their Christmas week and hopefully getting ready for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. It has been busy. I'm not. It has been busy for me the past couple days, but had a good holiday. So we are getting ready to do Cancer for January 2019. I am using the Simply Be Tarot deck by Chanel Bayless. And I will clarify with a standard Rider weight deck if I need to. Do this one more time. And then we're going to see what Cancer has got up their sleeves for the month. Thank you, universe. Show me what I need to tell Cancer for January 2019. I feel a real sense of organization and just togetherness, Cancer. So, first card is the Three of Swords. Second card is the Six of Cups. Third card is the King of Coin. And the fourth card is the Lover's card. And I'm pulling from the bottom of the deck for your overall energy, which is the Ten of Coins. And just a reminder, I don't do reversals. I read straight up. So let's see what we got going on, Cancer. This was interesting. So it looks like as we're going into the first part of January, you've been separated from the person that you got your eye on. This is definitely a love reading and not anything other than a love reading. There's no professional nothing here. This is all about you and your love relationship. So it looks like you guys have been separated. It could have been due to the holidays. For some reason, it caused you some upset cancer. But it looks like after the first part of January, we'll move out of that. And you're going to have a reunion of sorts with your other. Uh, and that looks like it's going to give up some enlightening information to you about your person um, that you're interested in. With your overall energy being the Ten of Coin, it's telling me that uh, whatever time and energy you put into this relationship will start to, to show off, start to show itself and it'll start paying off. Um, and if you look at the Six of Cups, dude is all but in her cup. So that's telling me, um, not real clear. I'm going to clarify this because I'm not clear on exactly how that's going with you being separated. So I'm going to clarify that. Um, but there's a reunion. And with you, like I said, with your overall energy being the ten of coins, your energy, the time and energy that you put into this worry and stressing out, it's going to pay off. And that's going to be the overall energy for the month. Um, with your king of coin, as we get to the end of the second, first part of the third week, you are going to be in a more secure and stable set uh, mindset for sure. And you are definitely, or you will definitely be focusing on your security, your financial security. Uh, the King of Coins, that's just right at the top of it. So you're probably going to just do a real brief overview of your finances and maybe how they relate to this other person. I'm going to have to clarify you're reading for you. Your fourth card at the end of the month, you are all but married, basically. You are just in love, glowing, ooh and ah. Um, and it feels like it's been after some choices and some sacrifices have been made. And in the deep, the simply deep tarot deck, that's what this means. It's about sacrifices being made, choices made. Uh, falling in love versus losing yourself, all that kind of stuff. But this, for you in particular, is about sacrifices and choices that have been made. And judging by how those two look, it's going to all be good. So let me clarify a couple things here, see what we got going on. 
I've already shuffled this deck. I'm not going to shuffle them again. So, with the Three of Swords and the separation, this is bringing up the Six of Wands. So, um, maybe your other had to be away for work. And maybe, or maybe they're in the service. That might resonate for a few of you. Um, where they, you've been separated for a while. And it, it caused you some heartache to be away from this person. Um, but the reunion. You got the reunion and that's going to be all good. Let me clarify the king of coins. So I'm clear on that. That brings up the moon card. Yeah, so you just, in the, the moon card is a, a Piscean card, just about the messages that you have on the inside, your intuition, your emotions, and so this is going to be an emotional um, reunion for you, um, and that's exactly what it's going to be, it's just going to be an emotional reunion for you, and I think there are going to be some things said Maybe they needed to be said, but couldn't you couldn't say them because you weren't around the person or the person wasn't around you to say things. But there's a conversation here that's going to need to happen. And if you look at in the, in the standard deck, you got two dogs there or two wolves or whatever they are. And they're just hollering at the moon. So I don't know so much that it's going to be an in-depth conversation as it's going to be, oh, baby, I missed you. There's going to be some nuggets there, some things that you're going to have to deal with. Um, that happened maybe while this person was away from you but cancer i don't see i don't see a lot of negative here um if anything i get the sense that you guys may be a little hesitant about reuniting with this person um but with the lover's card all that grounded energy i i don't see anything but just good stuff coming behind it let me uh let me clarify the lover's card for you as well since we are at it Let's see what this is talking about see what this oh it popped out dog all right so i'm gonna deal with the three that popped out king of pentacles two of pentacles and the fool so you guys are going to have a conversation. I'm going to go back here. This is going to be about your values. Um, where you're really going to kind of be readjusting the lines of power. If this is going to resonate with some of you about restarting a relationship, this makes a lot of sense. Um, the King of Pentacles is not just about his coin, but he's also about his possessions, his power. And what he values and so in this is telling me that you guys are gonna have a conversation and this relationship is going to be based on your values I'm sorry my alarm on my phone went off I'm like wait a minute it's midnight why is my phone going off I'm sorry cancer but this is gonna be based on your values and if it's based on your values that's a good thing especially if you guys are kind of in tune and in harmony so if you look at this card if you look at dude's throne it's got two lions back there so that's kind of telling me you guys are going to be on the same page about it and it's something though it's a conversation that needs to happen underneath that popped out the two of pentacles so you got to work on your balance um if you want this relationship to be all that it can be you can't get too emotional cancer i know my sister that's a cancer and I'm telling you you cannot get so emotional that you don't see the big picture so just make sure that you stay in balance that you're not um, smothering your partner too much you're not isolating yourself too much you're not neglecting your family or your friends or whatever social things that you have going on um, just in pursuit of this relationship make sure that you're doing equal parts of everything in as much as you can um, that will help you to keep some of your emotional balance in particular and then the third one that popped out was the fool and that is just about <coughs> the 
your awareness of being in the moment and not having this big expectation of, you know, if I do this, will this happen or not? If you really love this person, go for it. Go for it. Just go for it. And to be damned with all the uh, what ifs or what if I did or what if I didn't, just get in the moment and deal with your partner in the moment. Don't be bringing up shit from two weeks ago or talking about shit five weeks down the road. Stay here. Um, keep it light. Don't get too heavy. Um, you don't want to scare this person away. And I get a sense that that could be a possibility if you just go too far cancer and just get too emotional and too worked up about everything. So again, we go back to the second card that popped out. Your balance. Keep your balance. You got to keep your balance. Um, and do the best that you can. You know, don't and I know how y'all are because y'all are such nurturers and y'all care so much about your family and your people. But don't forget about yourself. Don't forget about yourself because um, it's easy, especially if you're at the beginning of a new relationship or, or even more importantly, if you're restarting a relationship, it's just easy to get caught up in that person. And, you know, the next thing you know, you know, y'all are arguing about any and everything because you are just so into it. I'm saying to you, Cancer, pull back a little bit. Have some balance. Uh, stay in the moment. And just make sure your values and your beliefs that the two of you have are working together and not doing anything that could, even if it's not doing it now, something that has the potential to pull you apart. Just make sure all your bases are covered. So let me pull your advice for the month. Makes sense. Nine of Swords. Second card is the Knight of Cups. That makes sense. And Seven of Wands. These three cards showed up in another advice. And I'm going to say the same thing that I said then because it's screaming at me. Don't do this, Cancer. Don't sit up all night. Oh my God, did I do the right thing? I just say the right thing. Did I wear the right thing? Don't do that. Be cool and just know, and I'll tell you, I think it was Pisces. Um, just stand in your truth. Don't get in your head. Stand in your truth. Know when you make a decision at that point, that's the best decision that you can make. And don't worry about it. Trust that the universe, or God, Allah, whoever he is to you, or it is to you, um, put your trust in it. And don't get all up in your head about what you think somebody said or forgot. Don't overthink the situation. The next card is the Knight of Coins. Um, if you're going to be in this, be dedicated. Be dedicated. Dude got all his little stuff. He got the horse out there working. Be dedicated to the relationship. Don't don't get funky changey in the middle of it and decide, I don't know. If I, no, no, no. If you're going to commit to this, and just as an aside, 2019 is one of those years where um, relationships, once they're started, they, they're going to keep going. It's not going to be a year of uh, a whole lot of in and out, back and forth kind of energy. It's going to be, here it is, this is what it is, this is it, that's it, thank you. So be dedicated to it. If you have any kind of apprehension about getting into the relationship, if you're feeling strange, funky, whatever, don't do it. Don't do it. It's always another option besides saying yes. You can always say, I'd like to wait to yourself, to the person, however, or you want to take it slow. Whatever works for you, but don't don't get so that uh, you just get caught up and you're not really dedicated to the relationship. You're not committed to the relationship. Don't, don't get so caught up in other crap that you end up putting this relationship on the back burner or, you know, it, it's start taking things for granted. You're not trying to go there with that. In the third card, the Seven of Wands, make sure those boundaries. And back to those values again over here from um, the clarifying King of Pentacles. Your values. Know what your values are. And right here, fight for your values. Keep those boundaries intact. Don't let any and everything get in the middle of what you and your person, male or female, 
don't let anything get in the way of what you guys value, what, what you guys believe, what's important to you. Because in the long run, it's going to be the two of you. And at any given point, this may be you or this may be them. And you may be having to keep people back. But when you set those boundaries in place, it shouldn't be an, a, an ongoing problem. People should just know so and so and so and so are together and that should be the end of it. So just make sure if you are starting something that you've got your boundaries in play. All right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. I hope you have a good New Year's Eve and a good New Year's. I will be back here next week. Take care. Bye.